जी असलम दोस्तों कैसे हैं आप सब खैरियत से हैं आज हम इस वीडियो के ऊपर अपना रिएक्शन देंगे चेस्ट वर्कआउट ठीक है और वीडियो शॉर्ट भी है ज़्यादा लंबी भी नहीं और उम्मीद है कि आपको पसंद आएगी तो चले स्टार्ट करते हैं If you want a massive chest, there's three things you should focus on. First, you need to understand that the upper chest should be a priority. Many people will only focus on flat benching and presses simply because they can lift the most weight or they're easier to perform. But most people who lack great chest development generally lack a thick upper shelf of the pecs. The upper chest or the clavicular head creates that full thick appearance of the pecs. And while many people have a well-developed middle and lower chest but lack the upper pecs, you almost never see that problem in reverse. By focusing your training on incline presses, you not only develop more upper pecs but a larger chest in general. I personally like the structure of my training. two chest training sessions one where we focus on the upper pecs another where we focus on the mid lower and outer pecs most of your exercises should primarily be heavy compound lifts like barbell and dumbbell presses but you should also always include a fly or stretching movement to fully maximize your pec development many people recommend fly movements as an exercise that closely mimics the natural function of the pecs to bring the arms across the body but the real benefits of a fly variation actually comes from the ability to fully stretch the pecs with this motion Chest pressing exercises can have a low the pecs, but you're often limited to just shy of a full stretch due to a barbell or dumbbells hitting your pecs. Incorporating both flies and presses fills in any of the gaps that each exercise might have when performed individually. When performing fly motions, your goal shouldn't necessarily be progressive overload, as presses take care of that. But it should be on focusing on getting the deepest stretch of the pec muscles you can, while drawing as much blood into the muscle as possible. Doing so. maximize progressive overload from the presses and maximize the stretch and the pump from flies. If you're incorporating these tips, it should go without saying that the key to a massive chest will come down to progressively getting stronger on a few key lifts. If you ever take a look at powerlifters, strongmen, and strength athletes who perform lots of heavy weight low rep sets, none of them are solely focused on gaining size, but yet they all have massive chests. This is largely the result of a very strong bench incline and dumbbell press numbers. While powerlifters are never as fully developed as bodybuilders, who strictly focus on aesthetics. If you take a powerlifter and diet him down to bodybuilding contest levels, you can be sure he'll have some of the most massive pecs, legs and back compared to bodybuilders in size. That only comes from heavy intense training. Now, if you apply that as a bodybuilder and add in the extra work necessary for full development like pec flies, You make sure to train with enough volume and maximize blood flow and pumps along with your heavy compound lifts. Now you have a recipe for massive chest development. And if you want the exact training programs that I recommend to build muscle using proven old school bodybuilding methods, check out my old school mass game programs down below. And as always, if you want to see more of the best original bodybuilding content, just